what is up guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know who i am my name is gabby and i go by aquarian g because i'm just an aquarian girl i try to make some youtube videos but if you can't tell by the title of this video it's pretty much just gonna be like a little chit chat get ready with me type thing <laughs> i haven't really been uh getting ready <laughs> much these days so yeah um definitely been bumming it out but yeah i thought i'd just like i don't know i just literally i woke up this morning and i was just like i want to get glam like i just i want to get ready like i'm tired of looking bummy like i'm tired of feeling just like eh. <laughs> and yeah i know like i still look bummy because my hair is like literally shit <laughs> but yeah i thought i'd do a little beat i did a little um brow nude type thing i don't know <laughs> but i didn't i mean i didn't really do anything dramatic but i literally just like hopped the shower and was like i want to film <laughs> um but yeah if you want to see how i achieve this look just keep on watching. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. Ooh. So, I just got out of the shower and i'm looking a little crusty honestly kind of just wanted to do my makeup just because i'm tired of being like bummy and shit so <laughs> but my skin is getting so dry so freaking dry it looks like i got a sunburn and i'm like peeling from it anyways i haven't done a little like get ready with me in a good minute like um kind of like an acne update and stuff like that but honestly i haven't really changed much my face routine is pretty simple <laughs> i kind of messed myself up using curology for a good while okay see this is where i messed up because I knew I wasn't supposed to use their face cleanser every single time I wash my face like morning and night it was mainly just for the nighttime because of how like strong and like drying it was and how much like moisture you needed for it so I was using it both times and <laughs> I kind of just like really 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 broke out and I was feeling it was kind of during that like time of like me and Chris dealing with COVID and stuff like that it was like the icing on top of everything just like not going good <laughs> and it like on top of just like not feeling myself and just like not feeling pretty not like I already feel a certain type of way like with acne but I try not to like feed into that ne negativity because it's like I like at the end of the day like I am beautiful like <laughs> I don't know like my confidence will never show if I'm always like mad or sad about how I look outside you know so anyways but I haven't really I mean my eyebrows hair like I know you can't really see them but like if you look up close <laughs> like I have hairs like kind of like up top and shit and then i know i have some light little mustache hairs but yeah i usually just go in with these and i know they're not the best especially with this this dry ass skin i would plot but i feel like it just takes too long and <laughs> i honestly don't like the pain 
So here I am using a wipey to wipe down my brows. My skin is really, really, really dry and crusty. So I used the wipey to soften it out <laughs> and make it a little more easier for me to use a razor. After that, I throw this away because then I'll get freaking too razor happy and then next thing you know, I have no eyebrows. Back to my face washes. I honestly have been loving CeraVe, but every single time, like literally, every single time I go to the store and I'm looking for the freaking CeraVe face wash, the shells are clear of CeraVe. We went to like five different stores, right? Just about. Yeah. I'm shook. Like, what's up, CeraVe? <laughs> I'm upset. Like, that shit actually made my face, like, calm down after, after using the Curology for a good while. But then when i went to go get it again <laughs> that shit was out of stock it has been out of stock for a good ass while and i'm just like why <laughs> but i got the la roche posay uh foaming face wash and i don't know i think that's what's making my face really dry but i don't want to assume because i've only been using it for like mm, three days i think it was like I think it's been like three days i don't know i just i don't know what to think about it i love how it's like really really foamy like a little goes a long way like one pump and you're good like not even like half of that you're good but i don't know like i just i don't really see like a big big difference but i think it's just making my skin really dry and i need a better moisturizer because what i actually have been using i've been using this uh, pods cream or pods dry skin cream and i don't know if i like this either i'm still it's it's been a couple weeks that i've been using this now but i mean for the most part i like it the fragrance makes me smell like an old lady but <laughs> It doesn't it's not like too thick which is probably actually what I need because I don't know but then I'm oily so it's like ugh. if I get a thick moisturizer that means I'm gonna be really really oily and if I get like a subtle I'm still gonna be oily but I'm not gonna be that oily you know I don't know but I've been using this one and it's not totally bad so next i just sprayed some water all over my face it was hot so i went a little crazy but i just sprayed water and then dried it off with a towel next i went in with pods of facial cream a little goes a long way which i really like and normally i would put this on right after i got out of the shower i'm gonna go in with this master prime yeah master prime hydrating primer this is um by maybelline i like it for the most part <laughs> kind of just like i squeezed it and blew it in my eye but um, i like it but i feel like it low-key gets me oily just because like i am already oily but because i do have like dry and flaky skin right now like I don't wanna I don't wanna like if you don't get out of here looking like a whole damn toaster strudel get a matte one and then just look like really crusty I'm gonna go in with this like, candid Revlon this is in the shade 30 probably not my shade really because I'm always off with it but I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. I think I've used it before. Here I am going to put concealer under my eyes and in my T-zone area and blend it out with a beauty blender. This one is the same brand. It is just in the shade 65. And I'm gonna use that one to 
contour so i did blend both concealers because i wasn't too sure if it was going to be too dark which it actually wasn't i was kind of glad but yeah i was kind of having like a little experimentation with the concealers because i wasn't sure i don't normally do the concealer first i'm gonna go in with this maybelline it's a dream radiant liquid probably not my color but i don't want to use this maybelline this is like my go-to i always use this one the maybelline St super save because it's full coverage but i don't know it seems too light i decided to go with the dream radiant foundation and use a flat brush to blend it all out it wasn't really that full coverage so i kind of went in a couple times i'm gonna go in with the maybelline concealer i think it's oh i guess it's just called me i don't know but this is in the shade 20 usually my go-to and i'm gonna do a little in the corner eye and a little out here Honestly, just wanted to try the tear jug and the corner of my eye with the concealer because I saw the beauty gurus do it, so I thought I'd give it a try. Plus, I'd already used a lot of concealer prior, so I didn't want to put too much anyway. I also use the concealer for my T-zone area as well. And now I'm going to go in with the Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade 10 Fair Light probably gonna make me look like a ghost and i'm pretty much just gonna set my entire face one thing that i did forget to mention is i re-washed my beauty blender because it had all the foundation concealer all over it so i washed it again so it wouldn't be too cakey for the powder next i'm gonna go in with this uh, morphe contour in the shade originator for the powder contour, I patted in the shape of the number three around my face and I'll get some powder and cut it. And then I'm actually going to get this little brush right here, it kind of has like a little angle to it and i'm gonna get honestly if i had a more um more like ashy shade i would have used that but this is kind of all i have so i'm gonna use this one and we're gonna contour the news I'm actually going to use this little skinny, here, I'm going to use this little skinny eyeshadow brush, but I'm going to get the setting powder and just do it right down the middle of my nose. And honestly, I didn't really let it sit that long. And I use this nice little fluffy brush. This is an e.l.f. one, actually. And I've had it for like a really good minute. But it does the job. I like it. And we also get this a little little tiny a contour brush i don't know how to do it there it's kind of been through it and i need a new one but 
I'll get some of the contour as well and do the bottom lip and just contour the lip And then at the top, do the Cupid's bow. And just like that little arch in the peak. I don't really like to go all the way down. And I kind of like to blend it like halfway through my lip, if that makes sense. And then you can go ahead and pretty much set the face because we're all done with the powders and honestly I just use water so yeah. I tried to do like a the pixie the pixie hydrating one but honestly it just made me look so greasy but yeah so I don't do that no more <laughs> and then next I'm gonna go in with the oh my god literally everything is so dirty anyways I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills I, dip brow or pomade oh dip brow pomade and i have the shade dark brown and when it comes to this i've learned to have a very gentle hand because it just will go on so much but i don't know i feel like everybody uses this now so it's like I heard, I honestly heard that the Maybelline one, uh, I don't know if it comes with like a pencil or something, but the Maybelline pomade, the tattoo something, I heard that one compares to this one really, really good. So, I don't know. I have yet to try that one out, especially with this one being so pricey and that one being so affordable, so it's like... I'd be down to buy it if it works. Oh my god, my cat totally attacked me. Why does it look like a little like snip snip snip? Like a little <laughs> anyways. Now I'll just go ahead and put this on my hand and go in. I see everyone going in or doing those little like cute like nice brushed gel like cute little eyebrows natural everything and I'm like but I don't have any like <laughs> it's so difficult for me so I don't know then again like I like I said I've been really like just bumming it out so I mean I haven't really been doing my makeup as much anyway and when i do it's like i half ass that shit kind of just miss being or getting just like glammed up and shit honestly i've had this like tart and bloom to uh palette for so long and as you can see i've used and abused most of them but i'll probably just use this dark one it's called activist and just do like I just do the ends of my brows I 
think I'm gonna do this one right here. It's like a peachy kind of color. Almost like a peachy kind of nude. And just go all around my eyelid. I honestly haven't done my eyeshadow in so long. I literally, well, when I do my, this literally looks like nothing. But when I do my eyeshadow, I usually do this brown or like a dark, a dark pink or something. Just to make, do it like really, really quick. I don't do my eyeliner anymore at all, but I don't know. For the sake of the video, I might just do my eyeliner just because I want to be extra. Okay, this, I feel like nothing is happening. It's because nothing is happening. Nope, not a damn thing. I'm gonna use this brown one right here. My goo too. So I did go in with a darker brown eyeshadow. I didn't really film that part, but after that I went in with eyeliner and pretty much what you see is what you get. I try to do a close up so it's like easier for you to see. I don't know, trying new things, but. <laughs> The eyeliner that I was using wasn't the best, it was for magnetic lashes, which it really does work for magnetic lashes, but not for this case, just for like a regular wing. But if you do know of any good eyeliners, comment down below and hook your girl up. Also, eyeliner is not my strongest suit, so I try my best, but it never really comes out really perfect. But when I do the inner corner, I like to drag the top to make it as straight as possible. I try the eyeliner. Probably not the best, but... I did use this one because it was the only one that I had. I kind of want to go a little darker on the eyes. This is the Bambi, the Bambi Eye Mascara. This is, I think Maybelline. Oh, it's L'Oreal. My bad. I actually like this one. But there are some other ones that I like as well. I just, I have these so it's like, I don't know. I don't want to go and buy more mascara when I have some at home. And I have these lashes. Don't have the case for them because I've had them for a good minute and I don't really like wear them too often so I can re keep re-wearing them. But I th I'm pretty sure they're in the style Shy um, from Kiss because those are like my go-to lashes and I'm always wearing those. I use tweezers because I don't know how to do it with my fingers, but some people have mastered it and I have not. Last but not least, I'm going to get a Q-tip and put it in some 
vitamin E oil. Mine is a little crusty, so I'm not gonna show it. <laughs> and pretty much after I get all of like my dead skin off of my lips, I use chapstick or I normally have I normally have like a Burt's Bees ones. I, I don't really like the hemp one because I feel like it doesn't really do anything and it's like dry as fuck and like nothing goes on my lip. Like I feel like I have to really work it in. I don't know. But I feel like it's also been making my lips dry. So I'm gonna use this Carmex one but I feel like Carmex also makes your lips really dry so i'm at like a constant battle on what freaking chapstick to use or lip balm to use because they all seem to like be not working but yeah i mean this is the final look again i'm not really gonna do my hair because i just I'm too lazy and I'm also really hungry I haven't eaten at all so <laughs> I'm like starving but yeah I hope you liked the video I hope you like the little get ready with me chit chat type thing yeah I mean that's pretty much what I use and yada 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 to get ready um it's not like i've been it's not like i've been getting ready that much anyway because like i said i've just been um, bumming it out <laughs> everywhere i go i just like don't want to get ready at all and then on top of the fact like my face is getting so freaking dry so i don't want to put like too many too many products on my face already so yeah but anyways <laughs> i hope you liked the video make sure to like share ooh, and subscribe i literally almost died for a second but yeah um comment down below any video ideas because sometimes i'm in the mood to like film and I don't ever know what the fuck to film um I do have some ideas but yeah we'll see <laughs> because I don't want to say like I'm coming out with something and then I'm like I never film it and never come out with it and then you're like where is it at so yeah I'm <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that but anyways yeah 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 enough I hope you liked the video uh, and yeah, make sure to like, share, and subscribe again <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.